you are listening to the Build a Brain podcast with Dr. Jeannie Zare. Join the quest to shape an efficient brain that fires on all cylinders and runs like a fine-tuned machine. You are now in the capable hands of an international presenter and a pathologically optimistic brain builder. Dr. Zaire will give you the right blocks to build that three pounds of cerebral muscle for you, your child, or the young adult you teach or mentor. Block by block, thought by thought, now is the time to build a better brain. Let's get started. Welcome, friends. So good to be with you again in Kibwe. I just love having you here. Um, you just have such good insight and questions. I can't wait to hear what you think about this one today, all right? So Reuven Feuerstein identified 28 thinking skills that are foundational. They are the building blocks. So block by block, thought by thought, we can build a brain by developing our skill personally, whether it's our own or if we're mentoring someone or we're a parent or we're a teacher. This one, Reuven called blocking. So have you ever gotten stuck? Sometimes we can just be so tired or fatigued or overwhelmed that we block and we just get stuck and we can't move further. So he was not talking about emotional blocking. That's kind of, uh, it's related, very, very close. But he did mean specifically cognitively, like, I don't know how to do this, or I'm overwhelmed and I'm stuck. So I, ju I just don't know where. So you can relate to this one? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I do too. So what we want to do is think about, well, what's the opposite of being blocked? Well, the opposite would be perseverance, maybe. Okay. Not always. Because you may be blocked because you don't have a strategy. You've come to a wall and there's no ladder and there's no hole and you can't get around it, can't get under under it, can't get over it. Okay, so we need a strategy. So I need a helium balloon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Something totally different than what I already possess. Correct. So when we're blocking, probably and it because it often leads to an emotional reaction because you and I are both people who get things done. And so we're used to being successful in life. So when we're not, it's like, rrr, rrr, rrr. you know, we don't like that. And so emotionally we can, for example, I was doing a page with a, I think he was a sixth grade student. I was at a school doing some uh, model lessons for the teachers. And I had a boy who didn't like doing this dots page and he took his hand and crumpled not into a wad but he just started to crumple the paper up and I could just see his face he was blocked and I couldn't I couldn't talk him out of it I went over it I don't have a relationship with him I was just the visiting you know teacher so so I really felt bad for him that he, that he was challenged by something and that he so quickly blocked and got stuck so we either persevere or we look for a new strategy. We look for the helium balloons. Right. I'm blocked right now, so how can I get over this? So some of this is related to becoming um, a patient person. So this can be tough too, trying to help someone develop patience when they want something right now. I can relate to that one. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> you you say amen to that one? Yes. Okay. One of the biggest mistakes a parent or teacher can make is to buffer their children from ever experiencing any type of failure. This does not help them to develop perseverance. Interesting. Failure's okay if you've got some support. So the, again, here's where we mediate. We ask good questions. Right. Well, I see you're frustrated with that. Yeah, I can't do it. You know, you've got a kid that's just all upset. And Okay, well, calm down. Just breathe for a minute. And honestly, deep breaths. 
is one of the best things you can do when you feel like you're blocked and you can feel your emotions starting to get anxious about it. So breathe deep, just relax, okay, and go, okay, what else could I do? And so if you're helping someone that is blocked, you might help them step away for just a second, breathe really deep, get a glass of cold water, just to get the brain to, you know, just get away from it, but then come back to it. Don't let them off the hook. Oh, well, poor baby, this is just too hard for you. Just forget it. Right. Instead, bring them back to it and say, hmm, so what part of this don't you understand? That's one of my favorite questions. When you've got a task, a little bit, you talked about this on our last podcast with learning new software and how you sur- you soon picked up, there's a pattern here. Wait a minute, some of this is the same as that other software program. So I don't have to relearn all of it. So if you can ask someone that you're mentoring or tutoring, what do you already know? Because maybe you know something about this. Right. And if you can get them to calm down, maybe you can get them unblocked. Right. Does that make sense? And then they probably feel more confident once they've identified at least something they do know. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so I'm not totally stupid at this. Right. You know, we have those things that run through our head, you know. Really? That bad S word. Right. Very good. All right. Um, Help them ease into it by reassuring them you are right there with them. That can really help. Perhaps break it down into steps that are not so overwhelming. You walk a fine line with a child or even a friend or an adult who's blocking, not wanting to make them even more fearful of doing something challenging, and yet finding ways to help them overcome the fear or overcome the block. So it's a fine line, but keep trying to walk it. Wisdom on your part is important. I don't know if you've ever read any books on wisdom. I'm kind of, I've, kind of, I've collected a couple of them. Well, I know Proverbs is a really great book yeah. uh, for wisdom. Wisdom, yeah. Seek it. Yeah. <laughs> Seek yeah. it. Never stop looking for it. What's, what's a wise choice? I don't know if you know the Zootopia movie. There's a theme, its theme song is Never give up, never give in, try everything. The name of the song is Try Everything. It's a really, really fun song and I love it. Try everything. So when we are blocking, uh, there is some other questions that you can ask yourself or you can ask someone that you're helping. So if it's for yourself, um, I feel like just giving up, but I know I should push through. How can I do? How can I just do one part of this task? Mm-hmm. So, do you procrastinate ever? Um, yes. Okay. All right. Me too. Especially if it's something that I'm like, or I don't really. Yes. Not my favorite thing to do. <laughs> you know, yes. not my favorite thing. So, I'll kind of put it off. Well, I'll do it later. Well, I'll do the dishes first. They say a procrastinator has a really clean house. Because I'd rather clean house than do that. <laughs> <laughs> that fits for me okay all right so if I have a big task and I'm dreading because it's so huge and overwhelming here's how I psych myself up to get over the block I say okay Jeannie just go get started on it you're not gonna get it done tonight but if you could just get started you'll feel better about having the project started so try it Just tell yourself, I'm I'm just going to start it. I'm not going to get it done. There's no way I can get it done. But I can start it. And you know what usually happens? Stay away. Yes. (laughs) Same. Same. An hour later, we're going, hey, well, looky there. I got it done. Yeah. Yeah, just that one step. One step at a time. Okay, another question. Hmm. I know I am blocking. Just recognize it. Be aware of it. I know I'm blocking. So I will breathe deeply three times and not give up. <laughs> so have a little a little technique, a little mantra, something that if this happens often, you might want to set up something that you're just, you're going to do, yeah. you're going to do. Another question, how can I set little goals to accomplish in small steps so I won't give up so easily? Oh, that's a good one. 
You like that one? Okay. Yeah. How can I set up little goals to accomplish in small steps so I won't give up so easily? I think this is a big one in life. And I think um, the COVID, we're just coming out of, of COVID. And um, I think we were able to put everything off. You know, well, I'm quarantined, you know, sitting at home for how many months? We didn't yeah. know. And it's like, yeah, yeah I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll do it tomorrow. So it did get easy to just put things off. So we're coming out of that and we're out of that now. And it's it's time to overcome blocking. So I hope this will help our listeners, Kid Boy. Absolutely. Yeah. Help me. Good. I'm glad. I'm so glad. So friends, please come back for another Build a Brain podcast and uh, be sure to visit the website. And I can't wait to hear from you. Thanks for listening to the Build a Brain podcast. If you're wanting more information on how to build a brain, please visit the website for the Mind Cap Center in Fort Wayne, Indiana at www.mindcap.org. That's www.mindcap.org. Children and adults from across the United States and Canada have found the cognitive help they needed at the Mind Cap Center. Their specialized team is trained in all levels of the Feuerstein program and can literally help you or your child build a new brain. We'll see you next time.